Welcome back to Worldwide B15. And um, recently I've been getting asked a lot of questions of where I get this, where I get that. So in today's video, I'm gonna just do a quick walk around of my car. All right, so the first thing on the list that I'm always being asked about is the N1 muffler tip, burnt tip. Um, it's a four inch and it's a 2.5 inlet. It's from a company called Mega Brand. And also I'm gonna try and uh, post a link to all these uh, items and stuff like that that I've uh, installed in the car. Next up on the list is the four to one header. Show you how that one right quick. Alright, so if you take a look, it's a four to one header. Also from Amazon. I don't race the car, so I don't care where it comes from. It's a cheap way of doing it and having fun. The next thing is a Bluetooth reader. Pretty much to read codes. This really helps whenever you have a code or something where it goes into limb mode and you, know, you can read it, find out what it is. And you can pretty much pair it to your phone and um, open up the Torque app. There you go. All right, so the next thing, uh, one of the things that I had to buy when I uh, first got the car was the pedal accelerator sensor. And it's pretty much this pedal here. It's got the sensor built in. I was having problems with that and the RPM, so that fixed it paired with the um, Hitachi throttle body. So this is the throttle body I just mentioned to you guys. This right here, throttle body, Hitachi. I had to um, buy that and change it. When I first got the car together with the pedal sensor due to the RPMs fluctuating and going all crazy. Alright, so the first thing I actually had to buy on this car when I first got it, it was the radiator itself and it was due to a pinhole very small right here on this area if you see. I think it was like right here, small pinhole and so I got rid of it because it was leaking cooling as you know. So. That's not a good thing for the cars. And I changed that. This is the only item I might not put a link to because I couldn't find it at all. <laughs> I don't remember where I bought it from. So yeah, good thing to change when you first get these two. Another thing that were shot and I had to replace were the radiator bushing mounts right here. These were really shot, so I bought them. I'll put a link to that as well. So another thing that I changed here on the car was the front headlight from ZM Autosports. Uh, these are the smoked headlights. And this was just something I wanted to do. So I went ahead and replaced them, but they look nice. Also the headlights from the same company, ZM um, Autosports. And they're called the Alteza Style. Um, you can see the shape, they're LEDs right here. They look dope at night. I also have a link to that. So another thing I've gotten on this car is the oil catch can. It's from a company called DNA Motoring. That was also from Amazon. I'll have a link to that as well. So one of the things I'm always being asked about is this one right here is one of my favorite and it's pretty much like a katana style sword shifter. That was also from Amazon. I'll have a link to that as well. But yeah, it's dope. Bought the red style because it matches with the interior. And for the battery, I bought a aluminum battery tie down. Nothing special there. Just a simple one. This is another thing I've done to the car. Uh, window visors. Company's called Auto Dynasty. I'll post that up as well. They look nice. Um, they're not the ones that you have to insert into the edge of the window. 
these have a three M sided double tape and that's the way they go on. Another cool little touch I did to the car was these LED dome lights. I picked red. That looks dope at night. Also matches with the interior. Alright, so I'm back. I'm going to have to continue off camera. I moved the cart onto the porch since it started raining. Hasn't been a good day. Weather is not cooperating with me. And that's how come I've been kind of rushing this video, fighting against weather. You know how that is. Florida is uh, super bipolar. But anyways, let's get back. Another thing I've done to this car is the underglow. Which I'll show you guys, you know, another day, another time, maybe in the nighttime, since you can't see it right now. But it's from the company called X Sprite, also on Amazon. And next up, polyurethane lip. This is a pretty known lip, commonly sold on Amazon, eBay, and other places. I got mine. It was from eBay. I remember correctly. It's a nice one, it wraps around nicely. I'll show you guys how I installed mines. I pretty much just used like some hex bolts to make it look cleaner. They're rusting a little bit, but they were black. I got them new. around got it to fit nice and flush and did the same thing up front used the same type of bolts as you see same type of bolts as you see get one there two in the middle and one there just to kind of even it out and yeah I know they're starting to look a little bad, but that's something that can be changed easily. I haven't gotten into this grill yet. I know it's pretty banged up and chipped. Needs to be resprayed again at least. I'll do that at another time. At least this one is looking way better. But I gotta get to that one. And it's pretty much the same thing on the other side. And since we're already here, this is another thing I'm always getting asked about. And it's these white canards or however you guys want to call it. And these are pretty much a prototype. I've never got to got around to finishing them. But it's not just what you see there. It's a lot more. They're pretty big. Let me see if I can kind of show you guys and get under a little bit. But they're a pretty big piece. Kind of goes around. The way I mounted it up is, is really nice and secured. Maybe one day I'll get to finishing it up. And who knows, it might change a little bit by then, you know, might look different. Might wrap it around more and finish it towards the end of the poly lip. So another thing up on the list is, I'll show you guys now. Let me see if I can should be able to turn them up. Yep. It's the uh, 6000K front bulbs. Really nice. Also did the fog light mod. 
can turn them on without having to turn on the headlights, which is pretty dope to have. And to finish it off, um, I don't have them on right now, so you see I got stock wheels. But I do have some white DTW wheels. I just took them off because two of them were getting yellow, turning yellow. They've lost the clear coat. And so was just getting to them. But that's how I got them. I guess they let them sit out to way too long and the sun got to them. But they're not on right now. That's something I'm working on. Should be respraying them soon. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. And you know, here's the lip. It's another thing I've been getting asked about a lot, especially in the videos and some pictures up on the Worldwide B15 Instagram page. And it's pretty much a 95 to 97 Honda Court rear lip. Looks really nice. And with that, I'm also doing a rear spoiler, stock one, and painting it black. That's how I come and see this tape here, just to cover the holes in case of rings. Right now, so at least it's doing its job. Kind of sucks this weather is just not letting us do anything at all. I'm currently at the Boosted Junkyard headquarters. So I'll do another little quick walk around with the car. Fog lights are painted, it's a spray for glass. Post a link to that as well. I think it's better than just wrapping it up. I painted a few little things here and there on the engine bay. As you see, it's covered right here. I painted it red. Looks a little dull or dark, it's just the dust. I cleaned this engine bay. I painted the um, radiator brackets as well. Painted that cover as well. Painted the bar. The wipers as well. Nice little touch white right there in between in the middle. So I have a question for y'all. Should I get rid of that fire hazard, whatever it's called, mat, and clean the hood? Or should I keep it? I'll leave that to y'all. Coming around. I've done some bumper push push button clips both on the front and the back helps with that sagging which these, B these uh, B15s are known for the back as well did it on both sides there's still a little bit of sagging here, but that's due to the clip, the original ones. I gotta get some replacements, because I know that still goes, you know, way more up. As you see, I painted this as well black. Gave it a nice look. 
stickers. I've made most of them, except the race line and the Mishimoto. Side little note, got sponsored by them. Just a nice little help there. Slow and steady sticker. That was my idea. The eat, sleep, and shift inside the boxes are mine as well. The Central Slow and the Worldwide B15. I might be doing more stickers pretty soon. So if any of you are interested, just hit me up. I'll let you know when I have them done. And maybe pricing if you guys are really interested. And then coming around inside the car, done a few little things here. They're getting dirty, but it's normal. Painted that, some interior pieces and trims. That painted around the cluster as well, red. I think it looks dope. Another question: Should I get a steering wheel? NRG or something like that in a quick release should I stay stock what freaks me out a little bit is not having an airbag but I'll leave that one up to y'all so coming around also painted that piece that I got the sticker there eat sleep shift Boricua Puerto Rico <laughs> Yeah, I'm Puerto Rican guys. I was born in the Bronx, but raised most of my life in Puerto Rico as well. So that's pretty much it guys. I'm gonna wrap the video up here and I apologize that I you know brushed through the video a bit but that's due to the weather and then you know raining here and there and it sucks I know but um you got to know where I got some of the stuff. So yeah it's a quick one, nothing out of this world. If you like this video please share it, you know, give it a thumbs up. Uh so as always guys, thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed. Please consider subscribing. Thank you guys for being patient. And um, that's it for this video. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.